Let's look at the visitor pattern using Ruby. Visitor pattern by definition is a way of separating an algorithm from an object structure on which it operates. The requirements are very simple. The object that can allow a visitor must have a method named accept, and the visitor must have a method named visit with the object passed in. To demonstrate this, I'm creating a class named goody that has a price and creating the required accept method that makes it a visitable object by passing self to the visitor's visit method. Now let's create a visitor that will add text to any object with price attributes and we'll call this class a taxman visitor. It takes an initial parameter of rate and we'll set it to a rate instance variable. And in our visit method, if the object passed in has a price, it adds a text attribute by invoking error accessor. Let's test this out by creating an instance of goody with a price of 25 and output the price. And let's output the text that will throw exception. Now let's have our taxman visit our goody. And when you run it again, you see that text has been added. Why is this useful? In this example, let's say we need to implement discount. We can add that feature with current object structure intact. 